Hey, this is Carrie from Photography for the Rest of Us, a place for people who love photography, and it is a spooky Friday night in October, and we are doing haunted shoots, and you are standing in my garage with me while we take pictures of an axe murderer. <laughs> Okay guys, so it's not really an axe murderer, it's my lovely husband being my model for me, but we are out here in my garage in the middle of the night and we are going to take some spooky looking axe murderer pictures. And all you need to join in on this shoot are these things. The shoot is a fog machine, some of that liquid fog that you put in said fog machine, a camera with a wide angle lens is preferred, but not required as far as the wide angle, whatever lens you have, I'm sure you can make work. A vehicle, because we're going to actually use headlights in this image, even though there's absolutely ways to do it otherwise, and I'm gonna to talk to you about that at the end. And then if you're like me, who happens to not own a gigantic ax for an ax murderer to murder me with, a piece of cardboard and some black spray paint in order to create the silhouette of said ax. And okay, so let's start the shoot. We have our car running with the headlights going. I've got my lovely model standing by and the smoke machine ready. I will put all of my camera settings in the description below, but I'm also gonna talk you through it as I go. Let's see what we can come up with. <laughs> getting ready. All right, so we are all set up to go. I've got my model in place over here. He already looks creepy, even though he's a lovely guy. I have my lovely assistant, Sage, behind him. You can't even see her in the dark with the smoke machine. And she's gonna walk across because there's a little bit of a breeze tonight and I wanna get that smoke-filled air everywhere. Let's take a beginning setting and see where we're at. All right, hold on, wait, Sage. I just wanna do one like this. All right, so I am on manual focus right now because when you're shooting into the headlights, it's really hard to see your focus. And my settings right now are 1 80th of a second, F6.3, and I'm at ISO 1000. And the reason that I'm at such a high ISO is because I really want to capture that light and that rim light around his silhouette. So that looks like this. Pretty spooky. All right, Sage, I think we are ready. Hold on, let me just get in there. Ooh. All right, Sage, I think we are ready for you to walk by. Nice and smoky, here comes all of our smoke. I'm gonna take some shots as it's coming. Oh yeah, super creepy, let's get a little lower. Maybe we'll come up a little bit. A bit different angle. All right, so here's some shots that we just took. Looks pretty good overall. I think I want to have Sage bring the smoke up a little bit higher so that we get a little bit more of his head with that light reflecting in that smoke. So I'm gonna give it just a second to clear out a little bit. And then we're going to try that one more time, smoke a little higher so we can get some light bouncing up onto his head as you can see right now on that video. He just looks creepy in this picture. I look like I'm about to be attacked. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting that outline. Good. Ooh, creepy.
Oh yeah, try and get it higher and walk across, Sage. You can walk across, you're fine. what we like. I like the creepy glow behind the axe. All right, should be good. You could probably go back over again. Ah, I lost my focus. Awesome, those are great. Yeah, that was really good, Sage, that was perfect. Okay, awesome. Roll. <laughs> hey guys, I hope you had as much fun as I did with this shoot. It's amazing what a car, a smoke machine, and a cardboard ax <laughs> can create. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about settings when you are setting your own because they're not gonna be exactly the same as mine. But what I want you to keep in mind is a little bit higher ISO so you really get that glow of those headlights behind us. And then aperture doesn't matter so much because we're not looking for a depth of field that's one thing or the other. We don't need a big depth of field because there's a bunch of light and smoke behind our subject. So a little bit more open so your ISO doesn't have to be quite as high but I like really crisp lines, so I don't tend to shoot completely wide open in these kind of scenarios. And then shutter speed, just something appropriate that it finishes out that exposure triangle to make a proper exposure in with the other settings. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at how fun the setting is behind it. I wanna keep shooting. But I'm gonna go in and edit these images in Lightroom and I'm gonna share that video with you as well. So make sure that you have subscribed to my channel and you hit the notification bell so you don't miss the editing video. Also, we'll be doing shoots like this every Friday for the month of October. I'm so excited. The next one is actually using some advanced lighting techniques that I'm gonna break down for you so it's very clear and concise. Really, really fun. So I'm gonna say it one more time. Subscribe, notification bell, hit the like button if you had fun, and don't forget to share your images with our hashtag photos for the rest of us because I want to see your version of my creepy axe murderer photos. So I can't wait until next time, guys. Remember, there's videos every Tuesday, and for the month of October, there's also videos on Friday. I will see you soon and keep shooting.